It's interesting to think about uh, next generation, Gen A demographic, um, who are born between 2010 and 2024. So some not born yet. Um, and what they may have to come uh, and what their expectations are in terms of the workplace. So much attention has been placed on the millennials and on the Zoomer generations. What should we be thinking about in terms of Gen A and what approaches we might need to take that are different? Absolutely. Well, you know, first of all, um, for some of the early ones born in 2010, it's only another six or seven years before we're really going to sort of see them entering the workplace. And one of the things I really like at the moment is this awareness on mental health that seems to be emerging. And so if you're an employer that's offering healthcare at the moment, I suspect, in fact, I'm confident from the reading I've done that Gen A will expect mental health coverage alongside. You'll no longer be just purely offering that physical health care. Um, clearly, and I think that this is a good development, even though I have a university degree, uh, I think there'll be a lower emphasis on university degrees as a, a path to career progression. And the top talent that's coming in, I think, will expect a range of quality learning options. So you, you really need to be thinking, I think, at minimum of some sort of Netflix-style learning at a basic minimum. And in the book, Future Hackers, I really explore some of the new modalities as well, like these advanced learning modalities like neurotutoring and neuromodulated learning. But that's something that we'll, we really don't have time for at the moment. But yes, I think there's going to be profound changes of only mention two of a whole range of them.